morning. So I thought I would just um, film a little um, legs in strap sequence with the ring for today. So um, inner thighs, hamstrings, legs. So for our springs, we want to go a beginner spring, a red, blue and a yellow. For your intermediate, you'll have two red, one yellow. Um, and for your advanced or for my males, for my men, two red and one blue if you're feeling super strong for today. Cool. Grab your ring, guys. Let's lay down on our backs. So we'll start off just with a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Um, and then we'll pop these straps onto our feet. So legs to the ceiling, just relaxing your tailbone, your back down onto the carriage. And then just a little bit of a sway from side to side with your legs and forward and back. Just releasing any pressure, any tension you might be feeling. Awesome, flexing those feet, heels pointing to the ceiling, toes bending back to your face. Pointing up, flexing back, and then just sway. Alrighty guys, take the ring away from your feet. Pop it onto your belly and then take your straps, your long straps off your forks. Or pop them into your hands. We're going to press ourselves away from the full bar and pop one foot at a time into the long straps. Cool. Just once you're there, legs to the ceiling. We'll just feel the springs first and then we'll add the ring. So just rest the ring on your belly, lower your legs down towards the foot bar and then back up to the ceiling. Now a couple of tips here, you don't want to lower all the way down to the floor so that you're dropping those ropes onto your body. You want to keep a bit of a gap above um, your body with the ropes. So we lower down, really tightening up that tummy, lower those legs, and then lift the ceiling. Perfect. Let's just do two more of these and then we're going to add our fun little breathe. Last one, come back up. All right, bend your knees, pop your ring in between your ankle, just above that little bony bit on the inside of your ankle. Arms will come down to your side and then press into those straps, legs go straight. We're gonna lower our legs down towards the floor, lift straight back up to the ceiling. Beautiful, lower down, lift up. We wanna keep your back Pressing down into the carriage, your tailbone is tucked. Maybe you pop your hands on your hip bones. Beautiful, we lower and lift. Fantastic. All right, guys, we are going to add a squeeze. Lower down, squeeze on that ring, lift straight back up. Oh, lower down, squeeze, lift it up. Amazing. Now, don't worry about squeezing that ring too tight to create an oval. It's just a light little press or a little pulse on that ring to so activate and wake up those inner thighs. Beautiful, lower down, squeeze, and then straight back up. I like to place my hands just on my hip bones, and that's going to give me a little bit of feedback as to where or how far up my legs will come. If I'm squashing my fingertips with my thigh, that means I've come up too, too high. You just want to lightly press up against your little finger and then pull back down towards the floor. All right, let's go for more of these. And then for those of you who are familiar with my pulse party, we're gonna go and have a pulse party. All right, guys. What's that? You'll find out. Let's lower those legs. Hold it here. Little squeezes on the ring. Pulse, 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 pulse. Now we go a bit faster. Oh, this is where the inner thighs start to scream. Pulse, 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 guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze and hold. Lift straight back up to the ceiling. Whew. Pull straight back down. Amazing. Oh my gosh, my leg is burning. My legs are burning. Go lower down. Lift it straight back up. All right, we lower down. We do two pulses. One, two. Lift straight back up. Amazing. Lower down. Pulse, pulse. Lift it up. Go 
Good work, guys. Forward thing. Squeeze, squeeze. And lift. Perfect. Three. Squeeze, squeeze. Pulse party is coming up into. Amazing. Last one, guys. Lower down. Squeeze, pulse party. Let's go. Go, go, go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Squeeze and hold it. Now bend your knees in. Nice and slowly. I'm not sure if you can see, but I am shaking. And extend all the way back out. So the ropes are just touching your knees as you bend your knees. And then press back away from you. Perfect. Again, those hands on your hips. If you like, let feedback bend and extend. This is nice and slow. Slow and juicy. Feel those inner thighs really working to keep that ring in between the ankles. Perfect. Out and in. All right. Four of these guys. One last pulse party and then we get rid of the ring, I promise. Three. Squeeze the ring a little harder. Oh, two. All right, last one, guys. Extend those legs long. Hold it here. Pulse party. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And bend it in. Oh, my God. Whew. Pop the ring underneath the garage or on the floor. And then just hang out here in a froggy stretch. Falls of your feet touch. Knees out nice and wide. We're not done just yet. Alright, extend those legs long. Feet are together. Let's lift our legs to the ceiling. Split your legs out nice and wide. Big circles. Connect your feet. Draw a line back up the centre. Nice big circle around. Draw those feet back in the centre. Draw a line straight back up the middle. Split. Circle down and around. Connect your feet. Legs come straight back up. Perfect. Nice. Steady movements. Now some people might find that this is more of a stretch rather than an exercise for the inner thighs. If that's the case, you need to just reduce those circles a little bit. Might suggest that you're just a little hypermobile and that's totally cool. You just want to reduce that circle for you so that you're in that contraction state rather than that stretching state. Perfect. If you're not feeling it and you aren't going too wide, then start to make those circles a little bigger. All right, three more circles in this direction, guys. And then we're going to circle in the opposite direction. Two. All right, last one. Legs come straight back up. Hold it here. Lower straight back down to the floor. Split and open. Circle back up the ceiling. Perfect. Draw a line down to the floor. Split your legs out wide. Circle around and up. Connect your feet. Lower down. Split, circle, come up, lower down. Perfect work, guys. Nice big circles with those legs. All right, four more of these. And then we finish off with our froggy press. Three, connecting those feet together. Two. Amazing. Last one. Connect those feet together. Turn your feet out. Heels are together. Draw a line straight down the middle. Come halfway down with your feet. Knees open wide. Feet, heels touch. And then press all the way out. Perfect. Bend your knees out nice and wide. Keep the heels pressing into each other. Squeeze and extend those legs. Beautiful. In and out. Now the key here is to keep those heels connected the entire time. I know they might fumble or <laughs> slip away from each other, but keep pressing those heels into one another. If they are moving too much, then you might be moving a bit too far, so slow it down. Perfect. In and out. All right, guys, three more of these. We're going to hold it all the way out. Into. All right, 
last one, extend your leg out, hold it. Split your legs into a nice big V. Draw those feet back together, come back to your froggy press. Extend your legs long, open your feet out into a V. Pull straight back into the middle, and then bend into that froggy press. Beautiful, extend, nice big V. Draw it back in the middle, and then bend. Amazing, three more of these guys. Oh, I don't know about you, but my inner thighs are on fire. Perfect. All right, guys, on the last one, our legs are gonna stay out into our nice big V. Hold it here, little pulses in and out, in and out for six. Little pulses, five. Four, three, two, hold it out, come a little wider, hold it, and slowly bring it in for three, two, and one, bend your knees, bottom of your feet will touch, and just hang out in our stretch here. You can hold onto the ropes and pull the ropes a little closer towards your chest. If you would like a nice big V stretch, Put your legs out wide, hold on to the ropes, and then pull it down. If you like, you can sway side to side as well. That always feels quite nice. And then when you're ready, carefully bending your knees back, feet touch, pop your hands into the short straps, take your feet out of those long straps, and then just popping those straps back behind you. Hold on to your shoulder pads guys and just drop your knees from one side and then to the other side. Perfect. And then making your way up and you are all done. Hope you enjoyed that. Nice inner thigh workout. Um, give it a try. Comment below. Um, I'd love to hear what you think if you give this a go at home. Um, and I'll see you guys soon.